Today, our speaker is Pastor Butelezi, who will be taking us to the throne room in prayer. Pastor Butelezi, this is your time. Please unmute and speak to the children of God this morning. Okay. Uh, good morning, everyone. And I want to take this time to greet you all in the name of my Lord and Savior, um, Jesus Christ, in the various places where you may be joining or looking at this message, perhaps on your phone or your laptop or whatever gadget you are using. May God be your portion. May healing and restoration be your portion. Um, pray with me as we consider the uh, epistle, Galatians chapter 5. I have my Bible with here, Galatians chapter 5, and uh, I would like us to just focus on verse 22, a very, very uh, uh, basic um, yet fundamental passage of scripture, and I'll be reading here, um, the Bible then says, but the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, the Bible continues, gentleness, self-control, against such there is no law. I'd like us to consider something as we look at the aspect of spiritual growth. You be aware of the fact that seasons are not eternal. We are currently going through winter. It will never be winter from Jan all the way to December. But throughout the month, seasons are then divided into four portions of time. You will also appreciate the fact that these portions of time are not similar in terms of their conditions, in terms of their effects on nature. You'll appreciate the fact further that uh, come summer, which I believe is a season that many of us love, and summer, nature tends to sort of respond accordingly. Something happens, however, during winter, something happens during autumn, um, not just in nature, but even for human beings, um, that when these seasons descend upon us, uh, things begin to wither and nature does not respond um, in a way that we would think nature ought to respond. And such is the very life of human beings that we also go through spiritual winter. We also go through spiritual autumn. And these are times in our lives where it seems as if absolutely nothing is going our way. These are times in our lives where spiritual growth seems almost impossible. I call that season spiritual winter. These, these are moments in your lives where you look at the Bible, but there is nothing in you uh, that inspires you to pick it up and to read it. These are times in your life where in the morning you wake up and, and observing a devotional prayer is something that you feel is too cumbersome for you. Spiritual winter is that aspect in your life where you just feel as if God is distant, or you feel as if God is absent, or you feel as if God is not there. There is a blessing that I'd like us to consider that, and this really blessed me um, when I was uh, you know, going through this a uh, couple of days ago that if Galatians chapter five, verses 22, tells us about the fruits of the spirit, then the question is, if love, joy, long suffering, kindness, and you name it, if those are the fruits of the spirit, then we cannot speak of the fruits and say nothing about the root. And so while the text gives us something to appreciate, which is effectively the fruit of the spirit, this morning before we pray, I'd like to, to just turn the text on its head and to challenge you and say, do not focus so much on the fruits of the spirit, but learn to focus on the root thereof. Uh, for, for you will appreciate the fact that the fruits mean nothing in the absence of the root. In, in, in fact, if I was to develop this, this concept further, uh, what, what, what allows a tree to stand during a storm are not the leaves thereof. What allows a tree to stand are not even the fruits, no matter how good uh, they may be looking. Uh, well, what allows a tree to stand is not even the stem, but a tree is able to stand during the harshest storm because of the depth of the roots. Uh, the, the rooting, therefore, is that critical element that allows the tree to be able to be steady. Well, well, oh, one, one cannot say 
the, the wind should not come. You do not have the power uh, uh, to, to halt seasons coming in your life. You do not have the power uh, to be able to stay uh, medical, financial, uh, uh, family, marital uh, challenges in your life. We are, we are human beings. We do not have the... But when the life is season now, we, we, we go through season. Remember, we're not in heaven. Life is seasonal, which means there are times in your life when you will wake up and you feel physically uh, exhausted. There are moments in your life where spiritually you will feel sapped. There are moments in your life where things will not be able to make sense, both in your family and in your public life. And when those things begin to descend upon you, I challenge you this morning before we pray, and I'm telling you that do not focus on the fruits because the fruits will not allow you, or oh, the, the, the fruits will not even sustain you during your winter. Remember, fruits are seasonal, but what will allow you to be strong and to be firm is the root. And I suggest this morning that the root is Jesus Christ. I suggest this morning that for a tree to be able to yield love, for a tree to be able to yield long suffering, joy, compassion is absolutely impossible unless the rooting of that tree is Jesus Christ himself. You see, when Jesus is the root, seasons do not matter. When Jesus is the root, it is not necessarily what happens to you rather than your ability to respond to it that matters. When Jesus is your root, uh, the, the trials and the temptations and the chaos that you go through uh, throughout your life are governed by the presence of God. The manner in which you respond to them is not through frustration. The manner in which you respond to them is not through anger. Uh, you, you don't respond to them by, by, by feeling that God has neglected you, but there's a peace that you experience in your heart. That peace comes from the assurance of knowing that there is a greater power that governs you. There is a greater power that is leading you. There is a greater power that is guiding you. You are listening to this. And many of us, perhaps rightfully so, have yearned to yield the fruit of the spirit as reflected in Galatians chapter 5, verses 22. We want to have love. We want to have joy. We want to have long suffering. We want to have kindness. We, 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 we want to be able to yield all of those fruits. But I'm challenging you now and I'm saying all of that is impossible. The moment we separate Jesus Christ from the equation. In the morning when you wake up, thirst after righteousness, thirst after knowing him. Let God be your portion as revealed to us in the person of Jesus Christ. For those going through ailments, for those who, who hunger for spiritual growth, I challenge you by giving you these two concluding points. Seasons will always be there. It does not matter how much we pray. Winter will come. Autumn will come. A time of withering will come. But the summer will also be there. Spring will also be upon us. So the first point I give you is that seasons, life is seasonal. Okay, what you may be going through right now, perhaps it could be a storm. Um, I may not know what it is. Um, we go through various sorts of trials as people, but nevertheless, God is faithful. So point number one, life has got seasons and we cannot pray these seasons away. But point number two, Christ is the root. And if Christ is the root, the tree that is your spiritual life or spiritual growth, if you will, becomes firm, it becomes steady, and it begins to grow. May God be your portion. May God guide you, and may God give you strength in Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Amen. Mfundisi, please may you pray for us. Let us pray together. Eternal Father God, we thank you for the gift of life. We affirm you as savior. We affirm you as Messiah. We affirm you as redeemer. And as we pray and yearn for spiritual growth, we, we humble ourselves before you to pray for families that are gathered here virtually, that Heavenly Father, may you fill us up. That life often saps us 
And there are times where we feel like we're on the verge of giving up. But this very morning, we conclude that there is no God like you. We conclude this morning, Jehovah Jireh, that you are our everything. And therefore, we ask that you may touch the sick and heal them in the name of Jesus Christ. We ask, Heavenly Father, that those who are in jobs, that you may grant them a double portion of your grace for competence and excellence in everything that they do. We ask for business owners that are here, Heavenly Father, that you may bless them with good business practice, that you may bless them with good character, that they may reflect your glory in everything that they do. We pray, Jehovah, for those who may be seeking permanent employment, that Heavenly Father, may you grant to them that which they need at this moment in time. We ask in a very special way for the young people, young people, Heavenly Father, of not just the prayer ministry that's gathered here, but young people throughout the Republic of South Africa, that Heavenly Father, you may be with them. Many suffered anxiety and depression. Many even have suicidal thoughts. We are living in times that are turbulent, but Holy Spirit, we trust your leading, we trust your guidance. And therefore, in the name of Jesus, we submit these petitions, not because we are perfect or holy, but because Holy Spirit, you have promised us and through Jesus Christ, we know that we are never alone. Cleanse and forgive us for our mistakes. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, we pray, amen. <laughs>